Bilarto's music makes me want to jump off a brig. I'm gonna say it. I don't know what's so draining about Bilarto's music, but it makes me honestly feel uncomfortable. It, like, it, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be rude. I love the game. But it is so draining. Bilatro, I say, I say it wrong every time. The music is so draining. Like, every time I play it, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like uncomfortable. These two games made me want to jump off a brig as well. Um, but out of a different kind of, uh, different kind of jumping off of a brig. Mostly out of the fact that I, um, was so frustrated and angry that, in a video game of course, yeah, that I, I was upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> I was upsetty spaghetti. Um, I didn't play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I liked the other one. It was good. The one before. This is like Rebirth X2 or whatever. You should vote for the one that you cried. No. Yeah, you're right. I did cry in Shadow of, uh, in Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. I did. You're right. I cried out of frustration because I was so upset. And oh yeah, you're right, Black Myth Wukong. I did walk out of the room having tears streaming down my face because I was so fucking upset uh, with the amount of frustration I had. Uh... You're right, you're right. I should vote for the one that made me cry. In anger. This one, this one made me cry because I got fucking picked up by the loser and given the kiss of death and I'm like, okay, well he has this much HP left, it should be fine, right? It should be fine. And he has this much fucking HP left and I realized, I realized right then this a loser, bro, kicks, picks me up, kisses me, kills me with a kiss and then all of a sudden tears. I, I didn't even, I, like this. Oh my god. <sighs> Cry. Uh, just one, one tear. Brr, brr, like that. My heart was stolen, yeah. Are you winning now that you're here? Uh, I didn't play this game. Never even heard of this game. I'm gonna be real, there could have been a way better game in this slot. No offense to whoever likes this game, but... I feel like there's a lot of other games that came out this year that, uh, what? I'm just saying, I've never even heard of it. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> there's other games that came out this year that I've actually heard of. <laughs> I will not take slander for metaphor. Yeah, you won't need to take slander for metaphor because this will be the only time you hear the name of metaphor <laughs> the rest of the year. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if you go in your own Steam library. <laughs> 94 on Metacritic? Yeah, when there's six people voting for your game, I guess a 94 is easy to get, bro. <laughs> these two, that's why they put them in the middle. I think voting for Blartro is, uh, uh, better? Because it's funnier to just upset everybody with a card game winning, and I think that would be the funniest vote ever. But I wonder if we're having a problem where it's like the election, and I'm voting for Jill Stein, and everybody else is voting for Black Myth Wukong and Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I'm Jill Steining right now, bro. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> but at least I'm not metaphoring. <laughs> That's like write in votes. <laughs> Who 
Who do I think will really win? It'll probably be Elden Ring because there's uh, too many Elden Ring uh, diehard fans for Bondi Namco and From Software that that it doesn't matter. Even if Black Myth Wukong would be a better game overall, this game just because of the developer will win. You know. <laughs> If China votes, it's over. China doesn't get access to the internet like the rest of the world. Sorry, I'm sorry, I took him, I took him, I took him. I'm hoping for a two week vacation so I can non stop play Rust on a solo server for two weeks. See you guys next time. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Every time I do this, it just Uh, okay. For real though, what am I? I'm, uh, what am I? What am I voting for? I just lost uh, three whole, three whole, three whole fans when I started talking shit about metaphor. I want you guys to know, three viewers have left the channel. <laughs> I gotta watch myself. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to play. I kind of think. Um, I like the character creation in Elden Ring better than the character creation of Black all right, all right. I'm actually, okay, the issue is I'd be voting. I really want to vote for Elden Ring, right? This is, the only, this is the only vote that really matters. Like the rest of them will go by 10 times faster because it's a bunch of irrelevant shit that nobody cares about for the most part. DLC. It also they needed to fix they needed to fix the end game boss uh like a lot. Like it was really bad. The last boss was so bad. It wasn't even an optional boss. It was just like a really no, they fixed it 6 months later. You can't say that's a fix. No, 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 no. no. They needed to fix that shit well before then. Like I I prefix beat the game so I can say this with conviction. They needed to fix that fucking boss way quicker than they did. It was garbage. It was garbage. It was so bad. It took too long. They should have fixed it. Uh, overall, the game was stunningly beautiful, but it was still the same game that won last year's Game game of the Year, so if I'm going to say Game of the Year goes to needs to go anywhere, it probably should go there. Oh, okay. Creative Vision? I guess it's the same games again. Well, that's great. <laughs> Can we use my second bo my second jokes now? <laughs> Get ready for round two, chat. <laughs> uh, 
best overall vision and innovation in a game. Oh, Blartro, for sure. Easy. Outstanding story and narrative. I didn't play any of these games, but this is just a remake of a game that's already been created, so it's off the list. Uh, I have to, I have to skip. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna give it to Metaphor. That way, somebody can say that Metaphor actually won. <laughs> Best art direction. Uh, <laughs> I fall it again. Uh, honestly, design, animation, and art direction. Uh, I, I'm gonna give it to Wukong. Actually, I thought the game was beautiful. I thought it was beautiful. There was a lot to it. Music and score? I didn't play any of these games. I'm sorry. I'm giving it to Metaphor. Best audio design. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Black Ops 6 because this is the only game that I've played and liked. Fuck you, Silent Hill Scary! Uh, I did play Silent Hill, but it's just a remake of a game. Best performance? Who the fuck are these people? I'm gonna give it to the man, because it seems like there's only one man, and there's a lot of women, so it's like... It feels- it feels like, a uh, it feels fair, <laughs> unfair, bro. <laughs> Why is there only one man? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Yeah. Luke Roberts Chad? Yeah. Luke Roberts Chad. Yes. Let me explain why. Based on those pictures? Yeah. It's a man. It's yeah. A manly man. Yep. Yep. My Jigga Chad man was telling telling me about with how Jigga Chad works. And then I said, Oh, she's a Jigga Chad woman. He said, Don't say that. That doesn't exist. <laughs> There's no Jigga Chad woman. <laughs> Silly. Innovation and accessibility. What is this? Some, uh... I don't know. I'm not accessible. Let's give it to... I'm giving it to Bioware because, oh, it's EA. Oh, give me my vote back. All right, whatever. I gave it to Bioware uh, until I saw EA was there too. I, I just wanted to go to a small studio. And then I saw EA. Click previous. Oh, nice. Change my votes. No, I'm still giving it to Bioware. This is Xbox, Xbox, Ubisoft, Ubisoft. Activision is owned by Blizzard, so yeah, well fuck it. I, I'm giving it to EA, I guess. Games for Impact, a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning message. No offense, but I didn't play any of these games. What does that say about me? <laughs> Uh, I don't never. It looks cool. Best ongoing. Where to do a game with outstanding development and ongoing? Uh, okay, cool. Fortnite, bro. Destiny, Diablo, Final Fantasy fourteen. I'm giving it to Fortnite. Best community support. No Man's Sky. Best
best independent game. It's got to be Blartro because they actually almost won game of the year. Yeah, so even if it doesn't win, it does deserve it. Best debut indie game. Yeah, I think it still wins. Best mobile game. <gasps> Slay the Spire, where? Bro! This is stupid. <clears throat> it's old? Really? How long has it been on mobile? AFK Journey sounds like a fucking shit game. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> AFK Journey. <laughs> All right, I'll give uh, I'll give it to Pokemon because uh, yeah, fuck it. I don't know. Best VR AR. Oh, I don't know, but I'm giving it to Metro because I like Metro non VR. Best action game. I don't fucking know, bro. Stellar Blade. That game is the one with the fucking big, big titty bitches, right? The fucking thick, thick mommies, right? That's what, that's Thick Mommy, the video game. <laughs> Kumar equal win. <laughs> bro, it's only good for that? It gets my vote? Uh, honestly, I thought Call of Duty was really good. For action game, best action adventure. Uh, Astro, I guess. Silent Hill, maybe. I don't know. Um. Okay, best role playing game. Character customization progression, including massive multiplayer experiences. I don't know. Elden Ring? Fuck it. Next. Uh, best fighting game. That's gotta go Dragon Dragon Ball Z. Is Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero? Obviously. Best family game. It's like three fucking Nintendo games. <laughs> I'm gonna go Mario Party. My mom loves Mario Party. She would love that. Best sim slash strategy game. Where are the games that I've played? Like, what am I doing all year? Age of Mythology Retold. I never played it, but it looks good. Sports game. WWE 2K24. <laughs> Best multiplayer. Uh, Call of Duty for sure. Best adaptation. Arcane's gonna win. Most anticipated game is fucking Grand Theft Auto for like 20 years. You could put the same category for 20 years, it would be Grand Theft Auto every time. Best creed. Parkour! Yes! <laughs> I love Pecora. Nah, 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 you don't understand. Wait. I don't know who you are, I don't know who you are, I don't know who you are. You're, um, you're, um, Queso. But you're Pecora, okay, so. She's different. You couldn't understand Pecora, she's just, she's the best. Best esports game. Counter-Strike. You know what the reality is? It's not Counter-Strike. It's probably... No, it's not. Because if you play Counter-Strike, then you know everybody in the Counter-Strike community is mad at Counter-Strike for not putting out any updates for an entire year. You could say best overall game, but the reality is Counter-Strike has been fallen off. <laughs> CS Esports train. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, Esports. Yeah, next. It just got updated. Listen, people have been bitching on my Twitter for months about, about Counter-Strike. 
but not for esports. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't see it was esports. Esports athletes. Faker gets my vote because I don't know who any other person is. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving it to Navi. All right. Woohoo! Notify me.